Now we're going to be looking at how to relate Venn diagrams with two-way tables. Now if you've seen something like this, this is what we call a Venn diagram, and we're going to try to relate the information given in the Venn diagram um, into a two-way table. So I'm going to start you start starting with question one. It gives us a Venn diagram. It's all filled out. It's got our bowling circle and it's also got our tennis circle. And remember our Venn diagram is always covered with a box and anything uh, and all there's stuff outside, inside, outside of the circles, and the, all the inside of the circles are, are filled out as well. Now I'm going to try to transfer this information onto our two-way table here. So I've built my two-way table. Um, this category is for people who are doing bowling and not doing bowling, and this category is for tennis or not tennis. Alright guys, so I've transferred that onto a two-way table. Now first of all, I'm going to start by filling in the tennis and bowling box. The, those who do tennis and bowling. So if you look at the um, Venn diagram here, how many do tennis and bowling? Both tennis and bowling. Well in our Venn diagram, the overlapping part are those that do both. So four will be filled in this box. Alright guys, it's very clearly straightforward from the Venn diagram. Now next, I'm going to find the number of people doing not tennis but does bowling. So if they're not doing tennis, it shouldn't be inside this circle at all. Now. Out of the bowling ones, the people who don't do tennis are these people. Can you see that? Nine is not in the circle of tennis, so it um, satisfies this category, this particular um, situation. But it, we want them to do bowling, so it must be those nine. So nine is filled into that box. Next, I want to know the number of people who do tennis but not bowling. Okay, so tennis but not bowling which means we don't want them to be inside this circle here. But we do want them to be in this circle, so the only parts are that one there. Eight of them are not in this circle, but they are in the tennis circle, so that's what we want, right? Eight of them goes in there. Now finally, those who don't do bowling and don't do tennis as well, so they shouldn't be in any of the circles. And remember the odd ones out are these ones outside the circles, so the seven. The seven must be the people who don't do both sports. So it must be seven in that last little box there. Make sense, guys? So it's all um, interpreting the Venn diagram and putting all the information straight into the, the two-way table. It's not too difficult, is it? We'll try another one. This time it's the opposite way. We're trying to fit, we're trying to fit all the information from the two-way table into our Venn diagram. Again, it should be very straightforward. You can follow the right, uh, right categories. So again, this part is bowling and not bowling. This part is tennis and not tennis. Now let's put it in. So I'm going to start by looking at the tennis and bowling parts. So those who do tennis as well as bowling, those who do both, are three, isn't it? In our Venn diagram, the overlapping part is the people who do both. So the three are put into the overlapping parts of the circle. Now next, I want to look at those who don't do tennis, but do bowling. If they don't do tennis, it should not be in the circle at all. But, because the bowling circle is this circle, and it should not be in this circle, the only part is that one. That part is seven. The seven goes right into that part. So those seven people don't do tennis, but still do bowling. Now next, we want those who do tennis, but not bowling. So if it's not bowling, it should not be in this circle, but because we do want them to de do tennis, it should be in this circle, so the only parts left is this one. So the, th the five people should be in this little section here in the Venn diagram. Now finally, we want to look at the people who don't do bowling and don't do tennis, don't do any sports, which means they should not be in any of these circles. So it should be outside the circle. So the four, I'm just going to put it outside the circle right there. Make sure you still put it inside the box, but it should be right there, like those are the odd ones out. Alright guys, so that's how we relate the two-way tables and Venn diagrams.